Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective reading. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in, the reading will begin. All right, let's get into your reading. Hey you guys, welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new please smash that like button so we're going to take a look at the week ahead for you guys thank you all for your patience i was able to pop back in today um yeah so let's take a look at the week ahead um we're looking at the 14th through the 20th of november see what the messages are showing up here for you going forward you have girl with a snake you have cupid's arrow and oh you've got the runner okay let's see what's up here okay girl the snake empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed enabling boundaries cupid's arrows having faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting and a little bit of hesitation and <clears throat> you've also got the runner runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego all right, let's take a look here. See what the messages are. Girl with a snake. Okay, empath and a narcissist paradigm. Okay, a little bit of a dance here between two people. Let's see. Okay, so there was definitely a blocking. Looks like you have, or you may have, or you will be. There's someone blocked. Or someone that um, another person is not speaking with this week. Mm, waiting. Could be a Pisces for some of you, but there's a decision. Someone um, wanting to make some kind of a compromise. Okay. Seeing things from a different point of view. All right. A lot of anxiety being caused. So I feel like going forward this week there is this situation playing out here where it looks like um boundaries are being put up because there may be someone in your life virgo whom causes a lot of stress and anxiety okay um you may be putting them up this week these boundaries or you may be continuously like following through with this for Maybe you've already done it and you're going to keep doing it this week. Um, I feel like it, it looks like you're trying to understand some kind of relationship, like either, you know, what is this all about? Okay. That's what I feel like mostly. And why is this causing so much anxiety and stress in some kind of relationship that you have with someone? Okay, um, why should I block? Should I bl not block them? Should I block them? Why? Um, there's this question. Uh, it doesn't have to be you. It could be another person too. It's like, why are we drawn to each other? Why do we keep going back and forth with each other? Why do you know? Uh, how can I block them? I feel stressed if I do this. Maybe I don't want to do this. Maybe it's all me. Uh, trying to hear that inner voice, that message in in your head, that's trying that like it's very silent. You know trying to block out everything else and um, try to be at peace, try to understand what's causing the stress and anxiety in some type of relationship that you have with someone. And, and it's like having a hard time making heads or tails of some type of relationship that you have been in or that you are in. And it feels mostly like this week making a decision whether you should keep blocking this person or whether you should not or you should open the door um but i see all this anxiety attached to that there's all this stress so it's like you're damned if you do and you you're damned if you don't like i feel like you're going to be stressed in about this situation no matter what wow that's pretty heavy duty energy right there in this situation here okay um, somebody might be very passive, the person that you're dealing with, or waiting for you to reach out, waiting till you come to the end of the struggle, or when you're done thinking about the whole thing, this person thinks that you might 
reach out to you or that you might reach out to them. They could be another Virgo. It could be a Virgo Pisces type of relationship as well. Um, hmm. <laughs> or there's a decision. It may not have something to do with blocking. It could just be like a decision waiting for the right answer and not being sure what to do because I feel like girl with a snake kind of energy is like this person that you connect with seems to be a bit of a charmer. So I don't know if there's like a little bit of resistance. It's kind of an uphill battle. This week kind of feels to me like you are trying to decide what you should do or what you need to do because there is a little bit of like maybe some smittenness that you both have with each other there's some crush stuff going on there's also yeah the energy is pretty chaotic because there's a lot of stress and anxiety too and then there's peace and then there's isolation and then there's blocking and then there's communication it's very um it's very borderline and I kind of feel like that's what this relationship is. It's like a very borderline uh, relationship with the girl, the girl with the snake. This, this dance, this uh, empath narcissist paradigm, where it's back and forth energy between enabling and boundaries. Yeah, it can be very borderline. It's like one minute the the enabling is happening. And then the next minute, putting up sharp boundaries. Yeah, I, f I feel like this week for you with this situation is all about you getting your your sea legs, so to speak, and picking a lane. Like you gotta choose a lane. Like you, you're either gonna be in or you're out. But once you make the decision, you gotta stick in the lane that you choose, stick to your guns, whatever you choose. Don't be one way and then don't be wishy-washy because this rela relationship might it's very borderline <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say it's very borderline okay you also have cupid's arrows so there is a love there is like love is coming definitely um so let's take a look at that and see what's going on here love is coming cupid's arrows this could just be a thing about letting go to you might be kind of like one foot in, one foot out energetically. Let's see what this Cupid's Arrows is coming in this week. New love, meeting someone, surprise invitation, or meeting up with someone, being a little bit hesitant about this, maybe because of that other energy that's going on. Okay, wow. Yeah, it's definitely coming in full force here with the Knight of Swords. Oh, it's, it's on. It's on. Let me see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Got the Empress and the Four of Cups. Okay. Well, somebody is viewing you as with that Empress energy. If they think that you're not really interested um, or they're not sure, they're gonna definitely try. They're gonna offer their cup of love, their emotions, or make some kind of offer to you quite a few times. They may, this this is a situation where um, you might know who they are, they might have done this before, you might not know who they are. Um, it could be connected to a mother figure, or they could be a, a mother themselves. Could be a Libra. But I definitely feel like you're going to get a surprise invitation or asked out. So it's going to be a little, little surprising. Not shocking. Not shocking. <laughs> surprising. Okay. And it's going to be kind of out of the blue. But I kind of feel like, <clears throat> I don't know. I see you. Look at the guy there with the arms crossed. This is either like hesitation, not sure what to do, not to have to make up your mind, having options or thinking about it a little bit, whether to accept it. Yeah, let's see what else is going on here. All right, you've got the Page of Pentacles. And one more, okay. Wow, the sun and the moon, wow. <laughs> I just heard this person um, we'll give you the sun and the moon and the stars. Yes, that's their intention. They have good, fantastical ideas. Um, I mean, 
it's definitely a breath of fresh air. I can tell you that. It's 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 even like they're even saying like, listen, do you want to uh, th them telling you their ideas, asking you out, or asking if you want to go somewhere? Um, we can go out at night. We can go out. We can have a, a night date, an evening date, or a daytime date, a lunch date, a day date kind of thing. I mean, I feel like this person is very serious. They're coming in pretty quick. Definitely. They view you with that Empress energy as someone who's just very attractive, masculine or feminine, very attractive, like the Queen of Queens, um, above all the rest. Their view of you could be, a, again, another Pisces, or it could be a Cancer or Leo. Um, yeah, this person, there's going to be a lot of communication, and this person, it's Cupid's arrow. So this feels mostly like a new love start this week. So, I don't know, check your DMs, check your text messages if you meet somebody, or they could be reaching out to you sometime this week, if they haven't already, asking you out. Um, it's refreshing. And if anything, it's a beautiful distraction from all this, it looks like. So that's a very positive thing. You also have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Ooh, look at that. Eight of Cups. Oh, Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So, looks like you're going to be running as fast as you can away from this energy. And this week, see, when I said, like, whatever kind of relationship this was over here, uh, whatever, you're getting out of some kind of codependent borderline shiz. That's what I feel like it is. That's what I feel like is going on. And getting into, like, you're done. You're done. Uh, somewhere along this week, I don't know if it's because of someone new coming in here that kind of like lights your fire. Um, or there's someone who, I don't know. It, it, it's not that I don't know. I just kind of feel like it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reprieve of some sort. And I just feel like somebody coming in, it almost feels like someone's coming in to take your mind off whatever this issue or this borderline codependency thing is like you're running away like you're you, you know what I mean but you're it's a little bit of your ego it's like yes just get me the hell out of here f this <laughs> you know you're running like like you need some good loving you need your ego you need that someone to be loving up on you you want someone to tell you how wonderful you are how awesome you are how amazing you are um and not have to wonder you know, I feel like somebody, whoever this person is coming in, is putting you like, you know, on like a little bit of, they just gave me that Madonna song, like a lucky star. Like they see you as like, you must be my lucky star. <laughs> yes. And look, look at that person, whoever they are. Okay. So... Of course, you know, you got the nine of wands. So you do have your boundaries up, of course, and you're keeping your secrets to yourself. You're not, you're not doing the kiss and tell. You're not, I don't see you like running to someone else and using them as like a therapist and talking about other people. I feel like you're really interested in, in some type of working, committed kind of relationship, you know? Um, and it looks like um, there's... <laughs> You've got like a brand new, like a seed being planted. There's an opportunity for growth and it looks like you're going to per pursue that. Um, whatever this person is offering here, it looks like you're going to pursue that because it's better than this chaotic energy over here. So this week, you know, as you're trying to, it looks like try to figure out this, what the struggle and the stress, you get 10 of wands and the 10 of swords, that's anxiety. Um, mental exhaustion, physical exhaustion, trying to sort all that out with that paradigm dance borderline thing that you're dealing with in your life. So many new comes in here and it's just like, here I am to save the day. It's like a little Mighty Mouse action. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from, but there you go. Let me see if we can figure out the person who's coming in, what they're... Chinese sign is okay starting with the year of the tiger okay year of the ox year of the snake 
Year of the Dog, Year of the Pig, Year of the Rat, Year of the Rabbit, and Year of the Monkey. Okay, so that could be the new person. It could also be you. Just take it as it resonates. All right, let me see. I want to see um, what this, oh, this new person they just said. I want to kiss you every time I see you. So that's definitely going to be their energy towards you. I'm going to take it slow and savor every inch of you. I feel like there's a huge attraction this person's going to have to you. Um, Oh, you make them feel shy, or you will. Yeah, because you're standing with that Empress card there. So, um, your scent turns me on. I feel like this person will be like, just, uh, if not, if they all, if like, if you already know who they are, they're already enamored with you. If you haven't met them yet and you connect with them, you're just it. You're just like the King of Kings. You're the Queen of Queens to this person. Even if you don't feel that way about yourself, that's okay because we are never. The way we feel about ourselves is rarely ever what other people see in us, you know? So believe it when I tell you. When someone else there's there's a there's a there's a seat for every for every ass, so don't get yourself down if if it's hard to believe because it's not hard to believe. Okay, let me see. What other messages are there here for you? And I will do my best, you guys, to pat pop back in and get um another video out hopefully tomorrow we'll see things are kind of like up in the air right now and um but at least you have this for the rest of the week and for all of you who have joined my only fans um i will do my best to get a reading out to you this week uh, it was supposed to be out on monday but i was not able to do that okay an emotional wish is being granted virgo wow so i don't know what your emotional wish is or what you've been wishing for but it looks like it's it's happening there you go you got a new love start definitely congratulations <laughs> it's cuffing season ready for the holidays right it's always nice it's always nice to have like a someone someone um romantic someone close to you during the holidays to enjoy the seasons the festivities whatever they may be you have endure and be patient don't rush everything's worked out for you already don't fret about anything all right let's see if we can get some initials of maybe the person who's coming in and also they said throw out a couple of signs Okay, we've got oh double leo <laughs> okay we have libra and taurus we have libra and taurus again okay yep. libra and virgo anyone else and we have pisces and cancer okay that doesn't mean that the person coming in if they're not one of those signs this isn't the reading all right, let's see if we can get some initials. All right, we've got L. We have the letter B. We have the letter A. We have the letter H. All right, someone was born September 5th. Someone was born in 1965. Okay, let's get some more initials here. Let's see what else. One second, you guys. <clears throat> Now I'm going to have that Mighty Mouse song stuck in my head. Wasn't that Mighty Mouse? I think it was. That's really showing my age here. Okay. All right. Someone's born in November and January. All right. Initials. Okay. Letter D. Letter P. Letter V. Letter M. Letter O, letter A, I said uh, L, C, we have V again. Okay, I just heard Paola. Okay, I heard Barry, Barry. <laughs> or Brian, I just heard Brian, we have a J, double J, JJ, 
Brenda. Someone's last name is Bird. We have Byron. We have uh, someone's last name is Boyd. Maybe we have Brandon. We have Ryan. We have, oh, we just turned over to see. Somebody's crying over you right now, Virgo. Someone's got some serious te uh, tears. Someone like uh, is involved in crypto, I just heard. Does a lot of crypto stuff. Um, they're giving me RJ. Um, okay. Someone is from Greece. Okay. Okay, Brock. Someone's name is Brock, or last name is Brock. We have Joey. Someone is a jock. <laughs> um, okay. Cindy. I just heard. Okay, Rory. Rory. We have Roxy. J Rock. <laughs> J Rock. Somebody wears Crocs. Okay, we just flipped over to a P. Okay, um, someone lives in Florida. Okay, Robert. We have a Ralph. We have a BJ. Um, okay, the name Joy her joy I have no a other than the M just somebody's an MVP oh now we have an MO stuff just flying all over going up down sideways okay Brock I said Brock okay um, Rocky Is somebody Rocky Moya okay that's crazy 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 all right, let's get a charm for you guys. Someone was also born in 1961. They just said 1961. And your charm for the day is... Oh. Okay. Oh, beautiful. So you have, of all the things to get... Pegasus okay that's significant for someone obviously that is a constellation I believe um, it is significant for someone Pegasus I thought at first it was a unicorn but it's not Pegasus represents um, I don't know <laughs> I should know but I can't remember it's what it is Pegasus I know it was a constellation and some type of Greek mythology and I did mention Greek um, so you might have an attachment or someone you connect with has an attachment to Pegasus, the name, uh, the meaning behind the name, um, it could be symbolic, um, the object of some sort, it represents something either to you or another person. So yeah, that's your weekly reading, you guys. I'm going to leave that there for you and head back out. I hope that you guys are had had a wonderful weekend. And um, yeah, I will, you know, uh, it's I'm not committed. I can't commit to being here every single night. As you know, I'm uh, helping out with one of my family. I'm taking care of them, actually. So um, I'm a little bit exhausted, a little bit tired, but I'm... We do what we have to do, right? So um, I will be here when I get a chance to pop back and I get back in town and I can do this and then I'm back out again on the road. So as soon as I'm able to get a free moment to pop in and get you a video, I will. And hopefully everything will level out soon. We're back to our regular schedule. As far as booking readings go, um, it's going to be a tight week and I've had to rearrange the schedule and everyone that's booked with me and I've had to rearrange you. I truly appreciate your understanding. Um, you can still book. I just may have to block out some sections. So if you really, really, really need a reading um, and you want to get in, you know, you'll have to do it, get there before other people. So I'm not going to have a lot of slots, but Brandy will be available. So if you need a reading and you can't get a hold of me, you can book with Brandy. She is on my booking website. So feel free um, to go with her. She's just as good and can get you the answers that you need if you need a reading. 
Um, and yeah, thanks everyone for your patience and all your wonderful comments in the community section under the post that I made. I, I read them all and thank you so much. I will send all of my uh, love and all of your regards. Um, and I will see you back here very soon. Love you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.